YouTube out here. Washita Mountains, Sanboa Range, Oklahoma. Oh, I, there we go. Um, yeah, back in town. I was going for Thanksgiving. Now I'm going to check my water. Ever since I've had this cistern, um, I've, had, I've never, well, after the first month, it's never been anything but completely full. Um, every time it rains, it just overflows now. Okay, it's going to splash. It's usually at pretty warm water because it's in this black pipe. Yeah, the water at the top of that cistern always stays real nice and warm. And in the tubing. Although it's 67 right now, I believe. It may have cooled off a few degrees, but it was still, uh, I think, 28 two nights ago. So the pipes were frozen when I got home here, um, and yeah, I drove from the Dallas airport, I got home here at like 3 a.m., and water was frozen, but the next day, obviously the sun heats up those pipes pretty fast, so all the water just goes down here, this used to not be here, I mean, the rocks used to be up here, but they fell down, and it's really deep in here, but Soon, I'm hopefully I'm hoping in the spring, plants will start to grow on there and it'll look good. Need to do something about these solar wires. I have a whole box of new wires to hang up. Man, it is pretty nice right now. It's basically just the pines that are still up. So yeah, I need a. I got this chainsaw so that I can cut down this wonky 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 tree yeah this tall pine tree Here. i need to build a cover for this too and i need to put that stake back in the storm messed that up but yeah this tree it's growing out of this little it's hard to tell but this is actually a little wash kind of goes to the creek down there there's some big rock formations though it's kind of like a plateau before the creek but yeah this tree is going to be a pain in the ass to cut down i figured out the only option is i put my truck at the road i have the 90 foot uh winch cable but i have another 90 foot cable that i can connect all the way to this tree i'm hoping in, it's it seems like it might be a little too far for you in 180 feet but uh put it up there and then don't worry i'm not using the ladder i was just using that earlier i have these things that i actually got at bucky's for getting up to a deer stand or something i guess um well they sold actual deer stands there but um these are the screws you put in to step on I was going to order some boots to climb up and also the cable you can wrap around yourself to actually professionally cut a tree like that, but whatever, I'm going to try this. And then I go up to about 10 feet higher than where the ladder is, cut diagonally while winching. So I'm assuming in this case... I actually wouldn't need a wedge on the other side to hinge. Maybe I should still do that though. Uh, we'll see. And then I'm going to, once the weather gets nice, I'm going to hook up. I have pretty much everything I need for it. I think I'm going to hook up this copper tubing and make this a hot tub, build a cover. Yep. But I'm not going to use it right now anyways. I got this at the fair. We farm buffalo not too far from here, so. 
Choctaw Nation. And uh, here, here they are. Yeah, I also got that corn, but I got like eight of these. Pretty cool. And I'm gonna build a shed to put all this stuff in. I'm gonna put it right there. That's actually like an old doghouse apparently under that thing. So I'm just gonna, I mean, there's a ton of building material there too. And there's some there and I'm gonna put that all inside. And I'm gonna make a stone step all along this thing. See, I've, I kind of got the water completely directed away just by making a few notches in the ground. Um, so water never comes over here anymore. So I can fill in that little drain. But I'm going to put stones all the way to over here. And down across that. Yep, yep. And yeah, I put out some of that deer corn. I got a Bucky's <laughs> and got the camera. So now the deer should start coming. It's hunting season, so kind of up here hiding in a way, so the mountains. Yeah, I used the skid steer, skid steer that I rented to get this road dug out and this was filled by the skid steer, but I just had the road kind of lowered this direction and all the water started channeling and digging it out pretty deep. At some point, I might need to put a few more just little notches, because right now I kind of have a big one right here. Yeah, I'm just parking here because I wanted to see if any deer would go there. But, yep, I have been too lazy to unpack my suitcase. Oh, and this thing keeps falling. I've gotten like JB weld everything. Doesn't usually happen. I mean, like, it usually happens that it falls ever since I went on this one crazy bumpy road. I've just been gluing it in a lot, but this time no glue works on it. Weird. This is the view over here. Now that most of the leaves have fallen, you can see that side. Took a little break, but let's head back outside and haven't really changed much to my plate, but well, I got this at Bucky's. Bucky's has some cool stuff. That was that I got this at Bucky's. Yeah, Bucky's pretty nice. I don't know about the one here, but I know in Cherokee Smoky Mountains, it's run by uh, the Cherokee people. They put a lot of money into that. Probably around here. Well, it's in Texas, so I don't know. But these, that, that, these are addictive. These are really good. Making some kidney beans. Gotta get that protein. Drying some clothes. Usually dry the clothes up here. That's what I was doing last night. Works really well. Covered that up a bit, but you know, I'm going to take this whole thing down, move these batteries into a shed. Um, while I was gone, I turned the battery, I mean, that's the inverter making the noise. I turned the inv inverter off, so it was still storing solar energy, <coughs> excuse me, but uh, just wasn't using it, so it was quiet. Cat liked it nice and quiet. Yeah, when I came home um, for my cat being here, uh, she didn't even want to go out. You know, she wasn't cold either. I made her huts out of blankets and pillows and turned this on when I got there. And it was the coldest night when I came back and she was fine. So, yep. Now it's starting to get dark outside. Okay, I need to 
to go out. It's getting kind of dark, so I'm not going to use the chainsaw today. I even hand saw. It would be a good exercise, but I'm going to at least go climb up that tree, put some of these pegs in, and see how far I get. She's climbed that ladder plenty of times. She loves ladders ever since <laughs> she moved in with me. She's gotten pretty good at my ladder. She just plays on it all the time. Okay, let's get these pigs. This guy isn't small, and it's just leaning in a very precarious manner, whilst my house is on the side of a mountain, and I sleep up there, so definitely freaks me out when there's a big storm going on. So let's see how these work. I don't know if I have enough, but they were like... Five bucks a piece, so I have big nails I could use too. I need more. But I think with a rope, a rope I'll be fine. Well, that was surprisingly easy to put in. Really, I thought I'd need a hammer. I just started screwing and it went right in. Nope, that'll definitely take my weight. Awesome. Here she comes. Yeah. Not too hard to screw these in. I did it with one hand. And then it was matter. Now. I just hope that I put them all the right distance apart. I kind of spaced them out a lot. It almost makes me want to not cut down this tree fully. I keep I leave just some of it, cut it off there so it's not a risk anymore, and then make a tree house or something. I don't know. But the wood I need for furniture, I need. I wanted some pine logs. And we're at least a foot wide to put them on these pedestal stands. It's getting kind of dark, so I think I'm going to wrap up. I uh, probably should have put them further apart. But I don't need to get up too high. Okay. It's a rainy day out. It's about to storm. But that means I need to go throw these cement bags down on the road. It's only going to rain for one day. It's a perfect time to do that. But for some reason, the cat wants to go he knew in the rain. Ow. I guess it hasn't really started raining too hard yet.
think I got my head. I wanted to just use the UTV, but I might just take my truck up because it has like 25 bags in there. And yeah, I think I'm going to throw them all down. So let's get it. Been in the rain a lot, so it doesn't fit too well anymore. I have to get a new hat, but it keeps the rain off, so that's what matters. bad spot and that's how you know it's a bad spot when there's been one broken down car here for the past two years but yep let's check out the damage clouds are up here right now it's starting to rain so one day i might have to put some bags here but for now these rocks actually haven't been too much of a problem. The water's starting to go in a direction I don't want it to. Okay. Yeah. I have a lot of cement in the back. So, truck's also really low right now. Okay. Oh, pretty hard actually. Need some more, probably right here. Actually, as long as the water stays going over there, which I I directed it to, then should probably keep the concrete here so that it drains there. Maybe dig this out a bit. Come on, water. There she goes. It's not deep enough. Can't okay, have a shovel. I don't know if I can do this with one. Damn, how does Les Stroud do it? Nah, I need to get like a tripod or something. Okay, where should this one go? Honestly, not too old. One more there. getting bad but oh, pain in the ass um I was going to lay down cement bags and then drive over them because I figured I probably couldn't get out without winching today but I just went for it because I was so tired of walking from way down there up to here so I'm just going to winch See where the bad spots are, fill that with cement. Cause I still have a ton of cement in the back. So yeah, I gotta get done with all that now. And I'm just sticking everywhere I stick. Now, this road is just a pain in the ass. 
foot and we got a winch. So let's do this. Well I'm hoping Okay, now I'm hoping that this little pine tree right here will be enough, but no, nah, it probably would be. i put it at the bottom. If not, I'll just have to go higher. I need to fix this part of the road. If only there was fucking drainage, man. That's all this road needs is drainage. Alrighty. I know it's not wireless anymore, but it's long enough to hold through the window. Okay guys, came up as far as I could and I completely destroyed this road. Looks like there are rocks underneath about a foot of clay. God, couldn't ask for worse conditions. But yeah, I guess I'll just keep trying to throw cement bags on it. I don't fucking know. I mean, this is the only little bad part. My road. This is what I gotta worry about right now. I have to do something. So I need to get a dump truck in full of gravel, but I was hitting this rock, so I had to stop winching for a second, but I moved it. Now I should be good to go a little, a little bit closer to the turn. Just need to get that, that wheel up. Yep. So yeah. this again. So, filled in this rut and kind of made the rut worse too, doing it, coming out when it's raining, but I mean, I need to figure something out. I need to be able, I want a road that I can get out every day and make it that way somehow. Um, you know, I was trying to avoid going out on rainy days and shit, but there's got to be a fix some way or another. I need to get my four-wheel drive fixed. I don't know why every shop in town seems to be busy. I'm going to have to drive out to the big town and figure out transportation out here. But, yeah. Alright, guys. I'm here back at the cabin. It's nighttime now. I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, these cement bags are not working. I feel like I'm just wasting a ton of money. I mean, it's about every time I pick up 30 bags and fill up my bed with it, that's about a hundred bucks. And I've done that three times now. So yeah, I think what I need to do is rent a dump truck and then, um, get some of that big gravel that won't wash away I don't know I might do layers I might rent a skid steer or rent a backhoe if I can um and hopefully not hopefully I can just dump some of this gravel if anything maybe level out the road a bit drag in some tires on a chain with my truck but if anything I have my UTV I need to fix the leak in the coolant system but it shouldn't be too hard. Um, yeah, and then I need to have some way to access, so I might just have to park my truck up there for a while and see if this gravel thing works. Because the cement bags, yeah, I don't know. It worked really well for that first spot. Um, but 
not anymore. It's just like chunks of fruit and jello, if that's a good metaphor. There's no real strong surface, no stable surface. It just, even the bags just sink into the mud. And yeah, so we'll see how it goes on the next episode, I guess.